tire chunking. I think it's a combination of the age. These tires are pretty old. And then that, you know, that brutal road we're running on. You know, my front tires were basically perfect as far as chunking goes. The rear ones, they always had a bunch of chunking. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, and, and I notice it's, uh, you get a lot of these tread blocks that are starting to separate. Now, they don't ever go very far in, but, you know, that piece there will start to rip off. And what I'm noticing is uh, I think these front tires do a lot of uh, the stopping and the pulling. You know, I'll throw it into... I'll throw it in six-wheel drive. I'll lock in the front axle there. Um, really to get me up a hill because if the, if the rear slip they bounce that's really hard on the passengers and of course if they're bouncing it's uh, it's just gonna washboard the road right up so you can see a rock hit right there so I'll throw the front end even though I don't technically need to just to smooth things out and I do the same thing on the way down. Now these tires, you can see it, it's, it's finally parked in the right spot. Right here is this gigantic bad spot and it's quite clear that this tire here, um, probably when it wasn't on this truck, who knows where it was, but it, it they slid it hard right in this general area. So there's actually a noticeably missing lack of tread in this little spot right here. But you know, they've been chunking since I owned the thing. And they're the older of the tires. The chunking I don't, I don't worry so much about. That right there, that I worry a little bit about. You know, and that's probably where we drove over a stone and it tore the rubber. Now it's, none of them seem to go in. The worst I found between the tread blocks, you know, actually that one right there is, is pretty, it's pretty bad, but. Even that's not very much. I'm assuming there's a substantial bit of rubber. And I don't, you know, I, I don't usually pick at it with a pocket knife, but uh, I don't hear steel cords when I dig down in there. But, you know, there's a big chud. I'm going to lose that trunk right there eventually. You know, these had no chunking, the front two tires. And, and now you can see it, these. And you can see, you know, stone bruises. And we've been just running so hard. Um... Not necessarily making them out a huge amount of money. Uh, but we've been running so hard recently. I haven't, and we had some family over, and they're not interested, I'm sure, in spending six hours on their vacation day up on the road throwing rocks off. So it's just, we're sharing the road with a 20 ton haul dump truck. And he, God, he's heavy, and he tears the road up. But I mean, just anyways. Um, yeah, I need to get up there and do that. I've also noticed the truck is down on power. I notice that when I climb the hills uh, on the drive up, I'm blowing lots of black smoke, just a constant pour of black smoke, which it never used to do. And on my descending, um, you know, under compression braking, you know, a compression brake for about four miles. And... Uh, when I get to the bottom of the hill, uh, billowing plumes of blue-white smoke. Unbu it sounds, smells like unburned fuel to me. Um, I think I got some cheap diesel in this thing. It's almost like I, I accidentally filled it up with heating oil. So I'm going to throw some injector cleaner in it today for our runs today and I hope I hope she pulls through but yeah tire chunking yeah, it's a thing <laughs>